welcome back to the seasonal sessions. Today's episode is going to be quite short and sweet, but to the point. I don't really see the point in dragging out these positive mindset shift sessions because I feel like the more I talk, the more negative it gets. So I'm just going to try to keep them short and to the point and just kind of start your day off right. So today I'm going to talk a lot about nostalgia. This is why I can't drag it out because Oh, give me an hour and I will have told you my entire life story. But nostalgia and how seasons change. Nostalgia, I've heard, is the most dangerous emotion because it gets us into situations that we shouldn't go back to again. Nostalgia can keep you paralyzed in the past, longing for something that you the longing for something that was there, but that you can't go back to. And it keeps you longing and desiring for something that you wish could be. It's why it's the most dangerous emotion and why we should avoid it at all costs. That being said, cold triggers nostalgia. So you've ever heard of seasonal depression? I mean, it's real. It is real. Especially where I'm at, seasonal depression is... I think it's like the number one cause of suicides here and I'm in the number one state for suicides to the best of my knowledge. So yeah, I mean, I have written so many blogs about how it's just so gray here and it just feels like you're living in this like vampire world. It's just so dark and cold and there's no sunlight for weeks sometimes. It's awful. It's awful. Not to mention it gets to 40 below zero. 40 below. I thought when I moved here, it got to to 30 degrees above zero. And I was like, that's cold. But I'm like, but I think it's livable. (laughs) 40 below. Um, Try that. It genuinely blows my mind that I'm even still alive at this point. It takes things like that, you know, to look back on, to realize how much you've really lived through and how much you're capable of because you've survived the thing is that should not be survivable it should not be survivable to live in negative 40 degrees but it is somehow but you know what sometimes doesn't feel survivable nostalgia 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 is like a reversed fantasy have you ever thought of it that way it's uh it's terrible it's terrible And reversed fantasies are extremely dangerous, again, because it keeps you longing in the past for something that was, instead of desiring something that could be. Ugh. But seasons change is something that I have been really, really realizing lately. I look at people kind of like seasons. People come into your life. They come and they go. And they come and they go. Kind of every four months sometimes. And I look at at people kind of like seasons. And I can dwell on, why did somebody leave my life? Why do the leaves change color? Why is it that one day someone is icing me out and then the next day they're super warm and then the next day they're icing me out again? Why? Or I can just accept the fact Seasons change. But why is it that one day the leaves are on the tree and the next day they're gone? Why is it that someone is in my life, but then the next day they're just gone? Because the seasons change. With cold triggering my nostalgia, my own personal hell of nostalgia, it's got me thinking a lot about my first year when I moved here. And I remember thinking every day, that how bad the day was. I moved out here in the middle of the pandemic, not knowing a single person, a single person. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. And I mean, everything was six feet apart. And yeah, no touch in, in, in negative 40 degrees. No touch is, is beyond, 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 beyond 
cold. I mean, I would say beyond freezing, but freezing is like 70 degrees above that. So, I mean, I can't even explain how cold I was. Physically, internally, I was just cold and I was miserable. And I remember just thinking how bad every day was. And I kept telling myself, okay, it was a bad day. It was a bad day. But tomorrow's a new day. Okay, it was a bad week. But next week is a new week. Okay, it was a bad month. But next month is a new month. Okay, it was a bad year. But next year is a new year. And why did I keep telling myself this? Because I knew the season would change. I knew that it was only temporary. The season will change. Now I'm nostalgic on last year, remembering where I was the previous year and good things that had happened in that awful dark time in my life. Because good things do happen even in the worst times of our life, even if we can't see it in the moment. But looking back at those good things that had happened in the worst time of my life, I realized it hurt me too that I couldn't go back into time and go back to those good things that had happened Because the season had changed. And that should be a good thing, right? That I can't go back into that time in my life. But sometimes it hurts. Knowing that the season changed and you can't go back even if it was for the the better that it did change. Sometimes when I'm in the dark, lonely winter of my life, as Lana Del Rey puts it, (laughs) I see such a sad and lonely and miserable life. You know, it's so easy to just get so caught up in just the negative. But then the season changes. And then I see how absolutely incredible my life is. It's vibrant and radiant and just beaming with radiant light. My life is so improcessibly wonderful sometimes. I've come to realize more than four seasons. My life is made up with more than four montages of moments. Moments I've experienced with different people because even people too come and go like seasons. People come and go like leaves on trees, but I am my own roots. I stay grounded through each season and breeze of people who come my way. Sure, my leaves might might fall off sometimes. My branches might shake a bit. But I stay grounded because I am planted where I'm at. I've learned not to expect the stability of seasons, but to accept the changing of seasons as montages of moments. And the lessons I've learned through each season still remain. For winter, the most brutal of seasons can still be beautiful. For spring, the roots that keep me planted are mine and they keep me stable. For summer, the most precious and crucial moments I have experienced are mine to cherish. For autumn, the best seasons we should crop into our own memory to make it through the drought. Selfishly, it's all mine. And other people come and go because they shouldn't stay where my roots grow. And I go through each season. The winter storms, the autumn falls, the summer heat, the spring rebirths. There are planting seasons watering seasons, plowing seasons, harvesting seasons, and seasons to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Not every season is a season of increase, but if we had one without the other, we wouldn't be prepared. All of these different seasons and moments make up my story. And my story is so damn beautiful. I have had seasons where I have lost everything, but I still remain standing strong. I have had seasons of overabundance. I have lived a life to the absolute fullest because I too 
have truly lived and truly died. And I too will blossom once again when the seasons change. If you are in a season of your life where you are really wanting to reset your life and get on the right path and get out of nostalgia, maybe get out of a really hard time in your life and just get on the path that you want to be on of the season of abundance, the summer season of your life, the whatever your favorite season is, but just be in that state of mind all the time and just really reset your mindset. A life coach is truly one of the greatest things that you could ever invest into yourself. I know because I personally have done it and it has changed my life radically. I would not be where I'm at today if it had not been for my life coach. If you are interested in hiring me as your personal life coach, I am a personal life coach. My name is Coach Cassie. You can book a free appointment with me. The link will be in the description below. It's a free discovery call to kind of figure out what this is all about. You can also find me on almost any social media platform at Make Waves Coach for more content like this and so much more. You can also find me on almost any social media platform at Mermaid Cassandra with a K because I'm also a professional mermaid. It's pretty cool. You can also find my podcast, Make Waves Mermaid Cassandra. Every place podcasts are found. I will be back soon with more content like this. I know it seems kind of weird doing this whole seasonal session thing when my own personal coaching theme is waves, which is kind of summery, but as we know now, the seasons change. So I will be back with more of this seasonal session content, but that is no excuse for you to not go out there and make waves. Mwah.